Hello and welcome back to Scratch Your File Lewis. So today we're doing an unboxing of a quite a rare digger. I've never seen one like this before. It's um Chinese style, so it's not a full cab. Um it's not in 1 to 32, it's 1 to 24. So it's a little bit bigger than it's going to be, but it was still fitting well with the 1 to 32 stuff. So the, it is very battered, because I got it very cheap. Um the box is quite battered as well to be fair. But you just don't see these around. And then inside, there it is. I did find it a bit strange that on the picture on eBay, the um, box had that picture all the way around, but on the actual box, it's got that picture. Which suggests to me it's maybe not quite the same box as the picture, but it was very cheap, so I can't complain. So there it is. Obviously, it looks odd at the moment. Personally, I, I don't like. I'm not, well, I say I don't like, I'm not mad on this style of Chinese digger. Um, I wouldn't get one in real life, but I've just never seen one in the mod as a model, so I thought it'd be quite good. So that goes on there, and then this clips on here somehow. Somehow we're going to get that one to go onto there. Looks like there's some glue on there. So there's also a lot of fixing up that needs doing. I mean, that one needs gluing in. It needs new sticks there. So yeah, that needs coming off with a. So we'll take that off with a scalpel. So be careful with any sort of knife. That one's got a blade. Try this one. Looking at it now, I maybe paid a little too much than I should have for it because it is very beat up and the pictures didn't quite show how badly the box was beat up. Um, I got it for £22 on the bid, but I'm not overly worried to be fair because I bought it from a hospice, it was uh, on eBay and they hadn't really listed it properly so it got really no attention and the money went back to them so I'm not too bothered. So that's going to fit in there somehow. There we go, that's sort of fit. Oh, so looking at it, them pieces there would have been attached to there, but they weren't. weren't. So we might have to make our own up, or just a little bit of Loctite. Like that, so that still goes on fine. Put that in there. That's a bit bent up. Try it on the other way around. To me, it would go on that way. Yeah, it's gonna need a bit of straightening out. Now I've got another bit to go on there. And that track is off. It was off on the picture on eBay, which I found a bit strange. Because it was a whole track and it could have been easily put back on. But again, the people that were selling it didn't really know sort of what it was. Well, they did, but they didn't. So, yeah, it's got not an amazing range on the blade. I mean, it's good enough for scenes. Only thing I don't like, that's not painted on there. Um, it's got quite a good movement. You can tell this would have been played with at some point. But to be fair, these are so rare now. This is the best. Oh, damn it. That's why I've got to get this slot tighted. Best condition I've ever seen one of these in because these do get beat up. Because um, what I can imagine what this would have been is maybe someone that moved into the UK from outside that brought it with them because you just don't see these in this country. Sometimes you see them in China uh, for sale on eBay, but it's like 50 quid, stupid money plus postage. So, it, it, I think in my opinion it looked better with a cab, so I might build on for it. But for now, we're just going to fix it up a bit. Glue some bits on the cab, um, just to get it all together better. Um, now I'm going to glue this back in. This looks like it was sat on here at some point. Because it's got the pins that go in there. So like that, I think. Or 
have a look at the box and see if there's any there's not really a clear picture of how it is you can see it's over there but it's not so we will take that off tiny bit of glue in there and in there right so and then this is a little bent bend that back put a little bit of glue in there Wrong way. Like that. And then we need to make some sticks up for in there. So in there, there is um, where you'd have your sticks pushed backwards and forwards for your directional travel. So what I'm going to do is use a piece of wire because it's about the right thickness. Straighten it out. To about the same height. So, got another one. We'll straighten them out, glue them on, and then put a little bit of tape around the top so it looks like they've got rubber on them for the handle. Like that. Make sure it's all straight. Some glue on it. You want a little bit on the end. Maybe we should have done this before we glued that railing on. And it's staying there surprisingly. I'll put another bit on here. No, that's too much. Enough. Put it on. This is going to be a bit hard for you to see. Put it on this side. And it's sticking to my finger, great. Definitely should have done this before we stuck this front barrier in. Because that absolutely failed, so I'm going to set up a clamp with them in it. What we're going to do now is um, here, oh, I haven't put the M2 sticks in yet because um, I'm going to do this one first then yeah, we'll go back to them but there should be a kill switch in here or kill either, dead man stick as it's called so we need to put that in there, put a bit of glue and a bit of tape on the top so I think the idea behind this is probably going to be for Mick to have it but I'm not too sure yet I might sell it again once I've fixed it up but um, I'm not sure, it depends how well it turns out so you've got the dead man stick glued in there and we will get a piece of tape around the top. Uh, it needs to be red tape because that's the colour of the rubber on the top of these dead man sticks. I don't have any at the moment so I will add that somewhere. But I can do these two there and tape them up. It's all finished now and as you can see it looks a lot better. There's actually levers on it and it's got a canopy. I might be able to cab for it eventually if it doesn't sell but it is up for sale at the moment. So if you're interested, just PM me on Instagram. But all in all, a very nice and a very rare machine. You, I've never, well, I've never seen any of these before. So it's um, a nice change. It is a Chinese style, which puts some people off these. I'm not a massive fan of them, but it's just purely because I've never seen one that um, I went for it. Because it's something a bit different. So that's pretty much that. Thanks for watching. Please make sure you like, comment and subscribe and see you again soon.